Hi guys, and uh, another little news roundup. I just thought I'd, I haven't done one of these for a while, but I thought I'd just do another one because there's a few things of interest. First of all, is it quicker to walk than to drive? Well, apparently it is possibly in some places and maybe elsewhere soon. So in the UK, for example, a telematics expert in car cleverness did a survey of traffic speeds in central London and they found that year on year they've dropped by one miles per hour down to 5.13 miles per hour, which is about 8.26 kilometers per hour. 8.26 kilometers per hour. You know the fastest speeds that race walkers, so-called race walkers do? They do 14, they do more than 14 kilometers per hour. Oh my God, that's like four kilometers per hour more than the average speed uh, of traffic in London right now. Okay, we're not all race walkers. So the average speed of a human being, for example, that they no most of us can normally walk is about five kilometers per hour. That's what, just only three off the actual speed of the car. So uh, considering that traffic is going up by, what is it, 1.7% a year um, and, and speed is dropping by one mile per hour per year uh, or 1.6 kilometers per hour per year, well, how long do you think it's going to be before uh, actually uh, we are going to be walking faster than cars? And the funny thing is, that, oh man, must have been, what, 25 years ago, maybe more? Uh, no, actually, probably more than that, 30 years ago, I think. Uh, I used to walk to college uh, in London and uh, I could take the bus and what I, what I had realized was that the bus would take me longer over the 20 minute journey than it took me to walk, even walking uphill. So I tended to just walk and I could actually see the bus and actually walk faster than it. So imagine what it's going to be like now. So what else have we got? Ah, flood damaged cars, watch out for those. So we've all seen the terrible images of the, 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 the tragedy that's happened over in, uh, in, in Houston in America with Hurricane Harvey, uh, the utter devastation that's happened there. Also, you know, you know, people have lost their homes and properties. They've also lost their cars. It's estimated that 400,000, 400,000 vehicles have been ruined in these floods. And now the insurance assessors are starting to gather these cars and go through them and decide what they're going to do and stuff like that. It's very likely that most of these cars are going to be written off so what happens to them? I don't know, but I would say this, watch out. And uh, when you hear of uh, one owner cars being imported from America, uh, well looked after and stuff like that, uh, here in our local used car markets, uh, I would say word to the wise, just be careful. Just have a think about that very carefully and wonder where those cars have come from and why they've suddenly come here. There may well be an influx of uh, uh, supposedly good quality used American cars very soon in our market. Buyer beware. What else we got? New Mercedes S-Class. Well, it's not new Mercedes S-Class. New Mercedes S-Class has been around since uh, 2013. So uh, they've done a few updates. Uh, Midlife updates is probably now going to take it to, I would say, 2019, 2020 before the next one will come out. And uh, this one is now launched here. It's on sale. I've got some prices. I put them up on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash motoring Middle East. I put up the full price there. But uh, models that we're getting S450. S450 is for Levant only um, and it starts at $109,000, uh, $110,000 for example. Uh, you get the S560 which is uh, GCC and Levant um, and that starts from $134,000. You get the AMG S63 Formatic. Uh, GCC and Levant, and that's $175,000. Then you got the AMG S65, $237,000. That's available from November, that one. Uh, you got Maybach S, that's uh, the 560, Levant only. Uh, no prices for that one yet. We, in the rest of the region, GCC region, we'll get the Maybach S650, and that is from $209,000, and that's available from November. What else we got? Jaguar have shown a new concept, except it's not a car. It's what they're calling a steering wheel. Well, it's not really a steering wheel either, actually. It's more like a remote robot uh, travel butler AI sort of interface thingy. Basically what it does, it'll sit in your home somewhere and it organizes all your transport needs. It ties it up with your Jaguar if you own one, or if you don't own one, then one of the fleet ones. Uh, because the likelihood is that you know uh, people may not necessarily own their cars in the future because cars will be autonomous. So say for example you have a meeting tomorrow morning at uh, 9 o'clock you tell this device that I've got a meeting and it will automatically book a car make sure the car is at your front door at exactly the right time to transport you from there to your meeting place for the right time. Now it's all very interesting it's all very high um, sci-fi and future and all the rest of it 
Um, I'm a little surprised though that car manufacturers are touting this sort of thing because that in a future where it's envisaged that there won't be car owners shipped, things don't necessarily bode well for car manufacturers unless they know something I don't. So it'd be very interesting to see how that is expected to pan out. So uh, that's pretty much it for the news for now. Uh, more stuff comes, I will put it up. Uh, it will all go up on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Motoring Middle East, with some stuff going up on MotoringME.com as well. Other stuff that's going on, stand by on Thursday, the final of the three videos that we produce for Alpha Dame Automall uh, pre-owned car complex here in Dubai Festival City. So the first one you saw me uh, choosing a car, the second one you saw us going behind the scenes to check a car, and uh, the third one we will see if we actually purchase the car. It's a Lotus Evora, manual, green, down at uh, Dubai Festival City. And now this video will come out eight o'clock uh, in the evening on Thursday, and it coincides with, I think they're having a special event uh, at the Dubai Festival City showroom, so go down there and check that out as well. Meanwhile, uh, cars, I'm well, the car I'm testing this week is a Suzuki Baleno. Uh, not a new car, it's been around since 2015, but I've been keen to give it a go because you know it's a really high value proposition in the market and perhaps often overlooked. So I wanted to see what it's like. It's built in India, you know, and it's, uh, a bit more spacious than your average super mini but the keen thing about this car is the pricing uh, 51,000 for the GL and 56,000 dirhams, dirhams for the GLX however there are special offers at the moment and it's 43,000 for the GL and just 49,000 for the GLX which is uh, quite well equipped as you'll see you can follow me uh, looking at that car of course we'll put up a review soon as well here on Facebook and on uh, youtube.com forward slash motoring with lease but you can also follow the post for that car if you just do hashtag MME Baleno See you there. Thanks a lot.